Hey, good luck here. So, a ton of things going on today again. I mean, the launch of Madden's always such an interesting time. So many things going on. We think there might have been a mass unban wave. You know, you're getting able to play superstars with those cards before they came out. We'll talk about that. Uh, Twitch drops and how you can get free cards and some pretty good cards just by watching my Twitch channel. Uh, Prime Gaming Packs, NFL Direct, got some stuff. Madden NFL Direct, sorry. Um, objectives, some stats, some, you know, more stuff. Anyways, okay. Let's first go through. Do we want to do the Insane Legends first? Maybe we should. As we have, you know what? Actually, let's talk about how to get and use players that are coming out next week right now. It is through draft. So this happens generally, uh, and only the show does this, right? But they release a card, you can then draft it in draft. So right here, Buddha Baker, 89 overall. You can pick him and, and try him out in, in draft before he comes into Mutt proper. I love this, right? I love the ability to try out cards early on, decide if you like them. Um, now, I know Mutt does take, Mutt Draft does take some coins to enter, and the rewards aren't great. Um, so I, I really wish they'd either get rid of the entrance fee or keep the entrance fee and up the rewards because right now it's it's brutal to grind on there at the moment um, because you really got to, you got to go like 4-0 to make your coins back. It's, it's, it's wild. But let's then talk about the legends like you probably see this on the thumbnail you probably click down like oh my god these legends are insane because they are is this like one is this is one of the best opening weekends for legends ever we got Darrell Revis coming out 89 speed 89 acceleration agility jump press zone man all high 80s so just getting him powered up you get him to 89 across the board on, on all of them plus we got strategy cards plus we got theme team stuff the Jets theme team is looking really tough obviously Patriots uh Bucks theme team he'll be there for so Revis oh it's good that we got Revis because we needed help on the defensive side without a doubt now to counter that we got LaDainian Tomlinson Hopefully, uh, uh, sorry, shoot. I was about to say hopefully receiving back, and I just thought, I don't know, man. Uh, receiving backs are the best backs in the game because they be, well, technically, Derrick Henry's the best back in the game. Check out my second YouTube channel for Derrick Henry gameplay, and he's the absolute bowling ball. But outside of weight, receiving backs are what you want to go with because the backfield master ability. If man coverage takes off, which I feel like we're, uh, people are going to start using one step ahead more, you're going to start to see a little more man coverage online. And, and when you do, you want to be prepared for it. You might not see it a lot. You might still see a lot of zone. But when you do guns a guy in man coverage, you don't want to be frustrated. And guys like um, a CMC that have that backfield master uh, will be able to absolutely dominate. So, LaDainian Thompson powering up to 90 overall. Powering up to 90 speed, acceleration, agility 89. Uh, break tackle up to 90. Change of direction. So, should be a pretty nice runner himself. We also saw Ed Reed earlier today. Um, thank God we're getting some more. Uh, defensive backs for Ed Reed and to help us play on defense. Mar Marshall, 88 speed. Should be nice and tall, a good run blocker. So it's kind of balanced. We're getting good on D. We're getting good on offense too. But we really need secondary players. So it's good to get them. Okay. I also want to talk about Twitch Prime, right? If you go right, if you have Twitch Prime, please, please, please give it to a Mutt YouTuber. Don't, don't, or Madden YouTuber. Don't, or sorry, Twitch streamer. Don't let Bezos keep his money. Every month, just check in, whether it's myself, whether it's anybody in the community. Prime Gaming, they also give you these packs, right? And if you're like, oh, what's in these Prime Gaming packs? Let me show you in a second. Also, if you watch my Twitch channel for an hour, you get packs also. And you can do it four times a day. So four hours a day. I basically stream four hours a day. And so, so these things are turned on. I'll be streaming tomorrow morning at server time for Legends. Twitch.tv says Gutfox. Um, I want to show you what people are getting out of these packs, Okay. Let me scroll down to him. Sorry. All right. This one, general Twitch drop. This person got it out. Devonta, Devonte Adams. I can speak. I, I, I've learned English. Uh, Devonte Adams out of a Twitch drop just for watching my channel for an hour. Wild. Okay. Um, Den droppings, new items. I think this is, yeah, Saquon. So you got 72. It's, it's good. Um, this one, Twitch Prime Gaming Pack. So this is the Prime Gaming Pack that I talked about. This is not from a, a drop pack. Prime Gaming, they got a Jalen Ramsey. So definitely, if you have an Amazon Prime, link it to your EA account. Like, that's insane to me, right? Jalen's a couple hundred K, isn't he? Um, we also got, uh, this guy said, thank you for JC Jackson. We have a couple more great ones. Tyreek Hill for the Prime Gaming Pack. That's not bad. Um, they have, uh, I got a couple more. One got, uh, we got uh, Fletcher Cox. Somebody else got a new Superstar 84 overall. So definitely worth linking on Twitch 
to your EA account because those drops come every hour as you're watching. So set it and forget it. Put it on the background. Twitch.tv slash gutfox. All right. So a mass unban wave. Uh, we saw a lot of people just get unbanned. Joker, Kale, Metality talked about it. He saw a few people he said got unbanned. So it is looking kind of um, like EA realized they screwed up from and, and basically messed up and screwed over. No many spent guys for grinding the level up to 50. Now I'm level nine. I still haven't done the grind tonight. I'll probably be throwing streaks and stuff. Uh, but overall, I really hope EA learned from this and, and just doesn't ban people randomly. Fixes their automatic detection on people because, man, it's it's bad. Okay, it is bad. When they're unfair, unfairly banning people because usually I don't believe people. But when when so many people got unfair banning and people that like I I know and I'm aware of and I I know them and I know they wouldn't lie about botting like that. Like a lot, I've been lied to a lot uh, over the years about bans and stuff. So I'm kind of jaded about it, but. The number of people and the way they were getting banned and you, people were like streaming their grind, right? Streaming their level grind and they still got banned. So we'll see. Uh, I'm glad that they got unbanned. I'm glad the wave went out. If you were banned, hopefully you're unbanned now. I want to talk about how to make coins right now off legend drops, right? These legend drops are tomorrow and those legend cards are insane, right? The problem is we don't know what the packs are going to look like because a lot of the price on those legends, like the, some of those cards, like that Ed Reed, like million coins. Okay, he could go for a million coins. Unless the packs are good. The packs are good, he goes for less. But people are going to rip the packs. They're not in the store, obviously. But what happens is that the packs come out and people rip them. And a lot of them get ripped right away. And then more will get ripped over the entire weekend. But the, the prices crash, right, on Saturday. They go down. And they stay kind of down all Saturday. What you want to do and how you make coins. And, you know, it's, it's better that to now instead of waiting for Market Monday. So that way you can actually implement it. Is to buy the cards when they're coming out of packs and sit on them for a few days. So when you go to the block after after purchasing, say, we'll just say superstar packs, okay? These aren't a great example, but I just want to show you to them. Imagine this, you know, use your mind's eye to imagine these are legend cards. So when you go to like, you know, mid 80s, 82, 84, you can even say 80s, depending on what the lowest piece of the legend set is, you're going to go here and you're going to see these things, these 84s, are going to be dipping down into like the low 20s potentially like obviously these are unfiltered but when you look at these unfiltered prices you see 28.8 and you're like okay that's fine you can sell cards for 28.8 because people don't filter when they're looking for training so you can sell people like right now it's 23 minutes but it'll take like you know i don't know a half hour or so to sell at this price but still you can list this price but you can go down to the filter right you can filter down a little bit more we'll see if there's anything 27 you see how these things are lower priced i'm just going to random teams um, these things are lower than the 28.8, 26.750. Okay, so you can buy at this price, and then so you do it tomorrow, buy at the filter price, and then Tuesday, Wednesday ish there, and and wherever, um, you can sell it at the unfiltered price and make a decent amount of profit there. So definitely worth looking at to at for um investment purposes for just holding on to a couple days. Um, I want to say Madden NFL Direct talked about power-ups coming into packs tomorrow from the superstar elite so a lot of people are wondering these sets right these these cards that maybe came out with, with new power-ups they, they show they have power-ups they are actually coming out um in a, a couple days so just let you oh sorry tomorrow not a couple days tomorrow um so that will happen all right we also had and like you saw my morning video uh, a loophole-esque type of thing we unfortunately didn't add on the second half of loophole in that video but then ea basically killed the odds of the packs and eliminated the whole thing altogether so there was a little bit more to it after that video somebody uh donoed and let me know about it i'm like oh wow that's really nice and then they basically killed it uh just slightly like a minute or two after that it felt like so anyways Mutt stats are not tracking. I don't know if we talked about this channel. So in case you're wondering why you go to your stats on your on your player cards and they're kind of screwed up, they're just just not working at all. Uh, let's take a look at what Von Miller is doing. Let's see let's see if his head to head set. Nope, see stats not available. So just FYI, uh, that's why they're off. But they do know about that problem. Edge threat on Von kind of sucked. Edge threat did not work at all for me. I did not like it. I ended up switching to two four five nickel and double or nothing and you know he did okay i think tj watt got a little bit more pressure from me off the other side than von but uh, we're gonna keep testing von obviously the legends where i will test wear out too but i really like the way uh, tj watt gets after the quarterback right now um but uh, that's kind of a lot of what i want to talk about today in this notes from the madden underground from the legends how to profit off legends how insane they are twitch drops and, and go over there and, and watch that tomorrow morning um otherwise yeah my second youtube channel uh youtube 2 linked in the description i did a podcast with eric rayweather mike mack and scomo 
check that out if you're interested in that. Talk about Madden 22 and, and what EA's done uh, over the last couple days with, you know, taking training away from people. Um, so it's good to get other opinions on the subject. So there you go. That's the video for tonight. We'll be back tomorrow. I think I'm just going to open packs but not post them. I'm going to open them on Twitch but not post them here on YouTube. So if you want to see me open the Legend Packs, join me on Twitch. So enough of the self-promo. I'm sorry. One more. Please sub. We're going for 100K this year. Thank you very much. We're going to make it, boys and gals. Love you all. I will see you tomorrow. Peace.